an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shit tastes sour. Well, hey everyone, I thought that I would read the, uh, what got him the charge of intimidating a victim and intimidating a witness. So let's, uh, I'll read this to you guys instead of just making a video with it on there, because I already did that, and I have a feeling people have a hard time reading it, because it was so small. So, I'm going to read this part to you guys. This is crazy, okay? It says, on November 3rd, 2021, the defendant called his mother, Dawn Woods, from the Milwaukee County Jail, 949 North 9th Street, in the city of Milwaukee, County of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. During the phone call, Daryl Brooks, Bitch Boy Brooks, discussed with his mother that the district attorney's office would need the cooperation of Erica Patterson in order to issue cha charges, stating they gonna need to talk to her and need for her to be a witness and she not gonna do that, but she can get the charges dropped altogether if she called down there and said, I didn't do what she said. The defendant further informed his mother if she don't cooperate with them, they are going to have to drop it. That wasn't too bad, but, you know, his mom acts like she had nothing to do with any of this shit, and she's a liar. One day later, on November 4th, 2021, Boy Brooks called Erica from the Milwaukee County Jail. During the call, the defendant used emotional manipulation on Erica Patterson in order to dissuade Erica Patterson from cooperating with the criminal prosecution. The defendant asked Erica Patterson, Why did you do this to me? Hey, bitch boy Brooks. Brooks, you did it to your fucking self, you worthless piece of shit. And now she's getting justice, and she fucking deserves it. And I'm proud of her. You know I love you, he says. The defendant continued. Listen, listen, please listen, Erica. I've come to the realization that I'm not going to leave you. You have my daughter. I know your potential, what you can be. I want to marry you. The defendant continued by emphasizing that he and Erica Patterson have a 16-year history and the defendant is not finna play no more. Then the defendant asked Erica Patterson, Will you marry me? Fuck no, bitch. She's not marrying you. Followed by the defendant telling Erica Patterson, you got to call them people. Two and a half hours later, the defendant spoke with Erica Patterson a second time from the Milwaukee County Jail. During the call, Erica asked the defendant, are you saying all this shit just because? Yes, he was, Erica. You right. Inquiring whether the defendant was serious about getting married, the defendant responded to Erica Patterson by telling her he was serious. Okay, but because of the situation, you know there is a possibility I might not get out of prison, that I can die in prison. Right? The defendant went on to tell Erica, I'm getting us... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting... Er, I'm sitting up here. I'm sorry, you guys. Shit. I'm sitting up here facing 60 fucking years. You have to keep your mouth shut, stupid bastard. 
Bitch Boy Brooks continued the emotional manipulation of Erica by telling Erica that he would die in prison. Well, guess what, Bitch Boy Brooks? You're right. You've foreseen the future, you piece of shit. And to think how bad that would make my mama feel. Why? Who the fuck cares? You ran Erica over, you punched her in her face, you've been beating on her for the last 16 years on and off. So, fuck that. This is about Erica and Erica finally receiving some sort of justice for 16 years of your fucking bullshit, you worthless piece of shit. The defendant continued by telling Erica... Oh, I'm sorry, I read that part. <laughs> Think about how much th that would be on her. Think of how much pain that would be on her, he says. This is all stuff you wasn't thinking about when you opened your mouth. She, fuck, she didn't care. She finally had enough of your bullshit, bitch. The defendant stressed to Erica Patterson that when she spoke with law enforcement, Erica should have said... I'm telling you nothing. Okay, let's get on the next page. New day. On November 6th, 2021, Bitch Boy Brooks called Erica again from the Milwaukee County Jail. During the call, Erica referred to herself both in the first and third person. Attempting to conceal her identity as the victim on the recorded call. Erica told the defendant, I tried. That is all I'm going to say. I talked to people and tried. Erica continued. Yeah, I said everything. I said a lot. It had nothing to do with you, I said. You know, nothing happened. I said a lot, just know that. Well, <laughs> she sure did. As the call continued, the defendant pretended he was not speaking directly to Erica, stating, long as they know I'm not having anyone contact her myself, I'm not trying to have no third party thing. Erica informed the defendant they want her medical thing records to which bitch boy Brooks reiterated yeah that's what this is right nope I'm not going I'm not giving you no medical records no she needs to stand firm she can't let these people talk her into anything she finally seen her worth bitch boy on November 6 2021 one day after the initial appearance was held in Milwaukee County case 2021 CF 004596 bitch boy Brooks called Erica from Milwaukee County Jail in violation of the Sorry, in violation of the defendant's no contact order with Erica. During the phone call, the defendant and Erica discussed law enforcement's request for Erica Patterson's consent for access to her medical records. In order to establish the injuries Erica Patterson suffered as a result of the defendant running Erica Patterson over. The defendant, Bitch Boy Brooks, told Erica, Tell them no. I'm not signing over to give you the medical record. I'm not cooperating with y'all. I'm not coming to no court. The defendant, Bitch Boy Brooks, continued, Once she tell him, or once she tell them that, and keep stressing that, and staying firm, they got no choice but to drop the case. During the call, the defendant blamed Erica for the defendant's predicament. 
I hope she realizes the mistake she made. I hope she realizes what she did. And I hope she never do anything that stupid ever again. Well, bitch boy Brooks, what do you think now, jackass? On November 7th, the defendant called Erica again from the Milwaukee County Jail. On the recorded call, Erica informed the defendant that she was not returning calls of the district attorney's office and that she informed the district attorney's office she don't want to see him incarcerated and that she and that she where is it? She don't want to see him incarcerated and that she was drinking during the incident. The defendant responded to Erica by telling Erica that is not enough and that Erica should have told them he didn't do anything. That that all that was made up. Erica responded. She did say she fell and tripped and he did not do it. In response, the defendant informed Erica she was supposed to tell them everything was fabricated. The statement was a lie. All that. That's what she was supposed to say. During the call, the defendant said, I can't have no contact to tell anyone what to say because that's going to be bad for me. Well, <laughs> during a recorded jail call, from the Milwaukee County Jail, placed by Bitch Boy Brooks to Erica again on November 8, 2021. The defendant repeatedly blamed Erica for the defendant being charged in Milwaukee County Case 2021-CF004596. The defendant started... Yeah, the defendant started by telling Erica, you don't say anything to me encouraging me at all. To which Erica responded, is it all about you right now? Because you know what you did too, right? In response, the defendant blamed Erica. Okay, and what did you do to cause it? The defendant pressed further. You trying to make it seem like... Wait, wait. You trying to make it seem like everything is always everyone else's fault but yours. Like you don't never do anything to cause shit. And the whole cause of this shit was something that you fucking did. The defendant ended the call by telling Erica, you did this shit and you couldn't even keep your mouth shut after numerous people told you that shit. This ain't the place for you to be doing this shit. And you still ran your mouth. And I'm the only one sitting in here facing all this time. Erica responded, I'm the one trying to get you out, right? To which the defendant responded, you need to learn to shut your fucking mouth. Fuck you then, bitch. Wow. He's such a fucking punk-ass bitch. This is just pathetic, and it gets worse, you guys. In a second call between the defendant and Erica on November 8, 2021, from the Milwaukee County Jail, Bitch Boyd Brooks started the call by telling Erica Patterson, If I tell you, bitch, if I tell your bitch ass to call my mama, Ho, that's what the fuck you do. If that is, if that's the case, if you don't give a fuck about me, then I can have my family get on your ass then. The defendant continued to blame Erica for the defendant being in custody. I'm in here because you can't keep your mouth shut. On November 11th, the defendant called his mother. Sorry, guys, got to drink my coffee. Don Woods, 
from the Milwaukee County Jail. During the beginning of the call, the defendant appeared worried that he could not reach Erica. The defendant told his mother, You know you get your bail money back anyway, but still, I'll make sure she do what she say she gonna do. Don Wood responded, Because Erica Patterson ain't cooperating, they don't have a case. To which the defendant responded, Yep, they, they are gonna have to throw it out. Don, this makes me more fucking disgusted with you than I was in the first fucking place. Jesus, get being on your son's side even though he ran her the fuck over, tried to kill her, punched her in her face. Who the fuck? Oh my God. I see why your kids turned out the way they fucking did. God gives you free will and you took advantage of that and you covered for your fucking son every time he got in fucking trouble. But when he did the Waukesha Parade tragedy, when he caused that, there's nothing you could fucking do, bitch. And I'm talking to Brooks, not her. As far as the bitch part. But anyways, she's a fucking enabler and you know that. Okay, let's keep going. On November 15th, 2021, the defendant called Erica Patterson again from jail. During the call, the defendant berated Erica. Uh, good coffee. For not helping post the defendant's bail. You didn't put a, a cent on my bail. Why should someone else have to pay for some shit you caused? Erica informed the defendant, you tried to, but before Erica could finish, the defendant responded, which you know he did that in court all the time, interrupting the judge, the DAs, everybody. Erica Patterson informed the defendant, oh wait, but before Erica, sorry you guys, but before Erica could finish, the defendant responded, nah, I didn't try to do anything because if I tried to do something you wouldn't be on the phone now that's what you're not realizing if I really tried to do something to you you wouldn't be on the phone now if I would have told motherfuckers go do something you wouldn't be on the phone now so don't tell me what I tried to do because at any given time it wouldn't be it wouldn't be on try. It would have been successful. The defendant continued, You ain't know who I am by now. Yeah, you're a bitch. You ain't know my little N-words is gonna do what I tell them to do. Do you understand my people are going to move how I tell them to move? Erica responded to the defendant's perceived threats. No, you about to do that to me? The defendant responded, do you underestimate me? Or I'm sorry, do you understand me? Or do you understand that? Jesus Christ, I gotta wake up. Okay, Erica responded, yes I do. In another phone call placed by Bitch Boy Brooks, from the Milwaukee County Jail to Erica Patterson on November 15th, 2021, the defendant, Bitch Boy Brooks, chastises Erica Patterson for continuing to talk to the district attorney's office. You still talk to the people. You still talk to them when they call, dumbass. You ain't supposed to. To communicate with them at all. Erica responded, I'm not. They haven't been calling. They've been emailing. In response, the defendant told Erica, Bitch, shut your motherfucking mouth. You still can't humble yourself, so if you still 
talking this dumb shit, I'm going to do it for you. Either way, you going to do it yourself and bow down, bitch, or I'm going to make you. Now, which one? Damn. Now, which one you want? The defendant threatened Erica. You acting like you got so much motherfucking protection like you safe, bitch. You on my motherfucking turf. Remember that. What's your fucking turf, you fucking idiot? The dead grass outside your mom's house where the fucking SUV was parked? On November 30th, 2021, Milwaukee County District Attorney's Office investigated Investigation, Erica geez, Go Brandonson and Keith Kapoha. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, it says they uh, met with Erica Patterson, who provided the following information to investigators. Detective or investigator Go Brand. Go Branson and Kapohi, Kapahi. Erica Patterson verified that the defendant called Erica Patterson while the defendant was in custody at the Milwaukee County Jail. Initially, the defendant told Erica that the defendant loved her on the phone calls. The defendant also made Erica feel guilty for the defendant being in jail and changed and charged in Milwaukee County, case number 2021, CF004596. Erica Patterson confirmed being afraid of the defendant because the defendant threatened her safety and security. According to Erica, the defendant knows a lot of people in Milwaukee who the defendant could... Oh, employ to harm Erica. During the phone calls, the defendant instructed Erica on what Erica needed to say in order to help the defendant. The defendant instructed Erica to not say anything, to refuse to allow law enforcement access to her medical records, and to co and to not cooperate with the prosecution, including by not appearing if required. Investigators Go Branson and Kopoha played portions of some of the recorded phone calls referenced above to Erica Patterson who positively identified all of the voices involved. During the above time frame the defendant was out of custody on $500 cash bail in Milwaukee County case 2020-CF002550. 20, I think that's what that says. My eyes are bad. Wherein the defendant was charged with two counts of second degree recklessly endangering safety Contrary to Wisconsin State Statute 941.302 and the one count of felon in possession of a firearm. Contrary to Wisconsin State Statute 941.291MA. That matter remains open. And no, that's fixed now. He got two years to add on to his natural life sentence. Along with the defendant's condition of bail, that the defendant refrain from engaging in any further criminal conduct. Well, there we go, you guys. Is that not fucking crazy? He is such a worthless piece of fucking shit that I don't know how the fuck she could... How she dealt with him. I mean, she said she was scared. I understand that. I don't, however, believe that he had people that were going to do anything for him. Because if that's the case, they would have made sure he got out of jail with that $5 million cash bail. 
And they would have probably, I mean, I'm not going to say what I think they would have done, you know. And, yeah, so, <laughs> so, let me to repeat, or I'm sorry, read his change of venue motion, his criminal complaint, and then his full criminal complaint, the one that was switched and shit. So if you guys want me to do that, I can do that also. Um, let me know uh, what you guys would like me to do. Thanks everyone for watching and listening to my video. I hope it uh, was enjoyable, I guess, as much as it could be. Please like and subscribe. Leave your comments down below. Turn on your notifications so you don't miss any uploads. And each day, if you haven't gotten a notification, just check my channel. Because sometimes the notification... Uh, isn't sent out right or whatever I don't know it's a YouTube thing so I want everybody to take care and have a great day and I'm sure I will upload more today by tonight thank you very much love y'all I'm changing who I am I'm making a new plan rearranging my life and I won't look back ever again. Yeah. If you ain't see me activated, you better hope that you never see me agitated. I think about my actions, plan.